Okay, what you'll be doing today, um, I'm actually out, so it'll be a sub helping you with this, is a peppered moth uh, lab where you're going to be graphing the difference between the peppered moth light and peppered moth dark. And basically what we're going to do is talk about natural selection, where we're going to talk about things happen in populations, because you can't change natural selection by yourself. You do need the help of uh, sexual reproduction with uh, a large population that has lots of variants. Um, so we have genetic variation in this, which is going to actually influence one, two, or more of the characteristics that are just going to make you you. Uh, we call these things adaptations, and these adaptations can be favorable or unfavorable, or they may not have any chance, and this all leads to evolving evolution. And what we're going to talk about today is an adaptation in a peppered moth. Um, the population actually has these two variables in it, large pop a well, large percentage of the population is this white moth, a uh, smaller population is this dark moth, and the white population, the lighter colored pepper, uh, is a very good uh, camouflage, but we fell find out today that back in the 19, early 19, 1800s, uh, early 19th century, we actually had an industrial revolution where we started burning coal. The coal went up, darkened the trunks of the trees, and it actually changed from a lichen color to a dark color, and we'll see if it actually changes. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this, and you notice it's a shockwave file, so the shockwave um, is not going to work on an Apple device. Um, you're going to click on the three first circles, and I'll show you the site in a couple of seconds. Um, starting on the left side, we're going to read, and I'd like you on a separate sheet of paper to summarize the information that's concerned uh, concerning this peppered moth on these first three circles. And again, I will show you what those are. Finally, you're going to run the simulation by clicking the fourth circle. I think you have to click it twice, and you're going to find a very hungry bird, um, as well as moths. Um, you're going to do a light forest and a dark forest. And you're going to actually find that your bird is going to try to, you are going to try to control the bird with the mouse um, and the left click to try to get as many of these moths as you can inside your mouth. Um, you're going to run this for 60 seconds and you're going to record the percentages in here. So light forest first and you're going to put the number of dark moths after the hunt and the number of light moths before the hunt because we start with a 50-50 and percentage and uh, we'll see if it changes. Click on the circle for the bird to return to the main menu and then you actually do the same thing for the dark forest and you repeat uh, number five. So here's where you're going to fill in the data, light moth. Um, you're going to actually start with 50-50 and find out what it is after 60 seconds then click that little bird and I'll show that to you and you click this then you're going to go through and actually labeling pictures label the tree as before or after whichever one you think is it and then draw an arrow at the moth that is it's easiest to see on each of the uh, backgrounds so label it light or dark whichever you think then you're going to actually use some can data this is the light colored population and the dark colored population and we're going to start Actually, we'll show you. We're going to make a line graph. It'll tell you what the x axis is going to be, number of moths, y axis. Um, I'm sorry, the x axis is years, and the number of moths are um, the y axis. So we've got 10 years. I'd like you to separate these things as much as you can, um, putting zero here and 10, at least 75%, and the same thing for the number. Uh, looks like we're going to start with uh, as looks like 30 would work, but probably zero, and then make that 500, 600, maybe even 700 up here as high as you can. Make sure you fill in the box, make sure you color what, or you show what color you're going to use to color the line for the light, light colored and the dark colored, and then you have four analysis questions here. So, let's uh, go look at the site. Um, it's going to open up this probably and it's going to say this has uh, maybe viruses and other, go ahead and trust it, click OK. It's going to be a very yellow screen and the three circles um, right there for the life cycle of the peppered moth, pollution and the peppered moth, and Dr. Uh, Kettlewell uh, who's actually going to do the tests on natural selection on the kettle moth and then here is the actual uh, animation. So you click this and there are going to be, I think, five uh, slides. So you go through there and click and click, and you're going to find all about the life cycle, 
Uh, you guys know this is a moth, so it has a caterpillar, it has eggs, has a pupa case, and then it comes out as a population of either light colored, dark colored, or a little bit of both. And then when you get done with that, you go over, actually it looks like we need to go here, Um, pollution of the pepper moth. Um, so we're going to find out about the 1800s, the mid 1800s. We're going to start talking about the pollution and how it actually changed the forests around uh, the countries in England. And again, I just like you to summarize these and just keep clicking until it gets to the end. Come on, you can do it. Okay, and then we go to Kettlewell's experiment, and then go through until you get to the end. Okay, here's the actual bird's eye view. And what we do first is we're going to find the simulation. We're going to actually start with a 50% population of light and dark. And during the simulation, the graphs at the bottom will record the changes in the population. You don't really have to pay attention to this one, because for this, all we're trying to do is figure out the percentage of light and dark for each forest. Okay, and then the role of the simulation, you're the predator, guide the bird around, click the mouse, eat the moth. Uh, every time a moth is eaten, uh, you'll actually hear the sound. And some of these you have to get really good in placement. seconds. It's going to drive us crazy. Um, I just want to show you that it'll show you the percentage and you can see the percentages right here. Looks like I'm 7127. Okay, so we started with 50-50. I'm now 72 light and 28 dark and that's going to go into this light forest and since you see dark moths easier, um, they're easier to eat. And then all I got to do is click this bird, click like we got to go through these things again. Um, now you're going to click the dark forest and I'll actually show you what the dark forest looks like and then that's the end of this video. Okay, good luck. Bye.